What's happening? Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Long time no speak. Mm -hmm. uh, the Illinois House Speaker, Emmanuel Chris Welch, talked to WTTW yesterday. Channel 11. Channel 11. And said, <laughs> and talked about the Bears Assembly. And, or the Bears Assembly. So it said after the Assembly, the General Assembly session that lasted ended last week, mm -hmm. was talking about the stadium. As we've said to the Bears over and over again and to the White Sox and also to the Chicago Red Stars, there is just no appetite to use taxpayer funding to fund stadiums for billionaires, even after the election. You know, even after the election, I just think it's things that we have to focus on. The kitchen table issues. People want to make sure their groceries are affordable, the rent is affordable. You know how they have a roof over their head. The last Thing they want to be talking about is stadiums for sports teams yeah, I, amen i we've been saying that for a long long time around these parts somewhere amen along somewhere along the line some team pulled it off and for decades most of the teams have followed suit and for whatever reason, the public has just been like, okay, who is the one uh, knucklehead caller that called that said, uh, we pay taxes on other things. Well, why, yeah. why do you guys have a problem? Uh, because, dopey, uh, taxes for infrastructure and school and police and fire and other things make sense. Not for billionaires to make more money. It doesn't make sense. And somehow they pulled it off. They've convinced these municipalities that no, no, we can't let them leave. We bring We're you too a important. value. No. We, bring, we bring you a value to White civil, Sox, civil leave. Pr uh, civic pride. And, leave yeah, White Sox. Go, go. Leave. See, see who lines up to stop you. Well, no, nobody's lining up to stop you. Good, good luck. Nobody. Leave. I dare and, you. To and leave. and no. if they want to build a new stadium. They have the means to build a new stadium with private money. Go do it. Nobody will stand in your way. Stop asking for us to pay for your stuff. Do you know what the NFL revenues were last year? I I, I don't. Like to close to my 20, head. 21 billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. Billion but, would it be? But have the taxpayers fund a new stadium. Go get it yourselves. You can do it. You have the means. Okay? So go 100%, do it. 100%. You've got the means. And don't ask us. So I'm glad. Now, these politicians, uh, they talk tough, too. And what, They'll bend over. They usually they, do. They, they will. Well, they don't bend over. You know how that works. Well, they, they get something they, for... They, yeah. they open up the coffers yeah. and watch the money pour in for themselves. That, that's true. It's the way they work. Yeah, that's true. They'll strike some sort of deal that makes, you know, that's that's somehow somehow advantageous for them, and the rest of us get screwed. But uh, yeah, I, I it's I don't know who the first was. I really don't. I don't know who first successfully Somebody pulled it off. It. But they've all Somebody followed suit over the years, and a gullible public has just gone along with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We can't leave. Don't leave. Can't leave. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you whatever you want. Yeah. You want us to pay for it? We'll pay for it. Sure. Don't let the door hit in the ass, White Sox. Bears Bears they're they're the ones that really have some nerves. Bears, Bears like, aren't going anywhere. No, of course not. Where are the they're Bears not going, going anywhere. Go. Of course they're not going anywhere. You and know, who's but the at other least team that it, wants money. It, it, the Red Stars. Is that who they said? The Red Stars yeah. want money for mm -hmm. a stadium? Please. I, I mean. What? What? <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know. Isn't Bridgeview wide open over there? Isn't that stadium? That stadium is a nice, fine. beautiful stadium. I've been yeah, it's there. It's a great stadium. I've seen country concerts over there. I've seen all types of things over there. The Wi-Fi sucks when we're over there. But well, what are we talking about? All I you hope, need is I, a, I hope the a green don't patch, get don't you? A dime. But I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll they'll get what they want. I don't know if it'll be here. It might be in Arlington. There's another regional like uh, conservation group now that's going to fight them too. Oh, did here? You see that? Yeah. No, I did not. Not see that. only Friends of the Park, but there's like a regional conservation uh, foundation. Friends of the uh, region. Yeah, yeah, they're talking about the bird, the migratory birds, and the danger that it poses to them. And yeah, but they built all these idiotic buildings. Downtown, I don't know. They say you're violating the, the laws birds... of the lakefront, the public trust of the well, lakefront. Well, that's true. And, yeah. I mean, we all know that. That's already it's there. It's not to be used for commercial gain. And, yeah. Which they're they're saying hotels and shopping districts and restaurants is, is certainly financial gain for private 
uh, and for then, a private and entity. And you've got places that oh, come build here, yes. Well, they don't want to build there. The Michael Reese Hospital property. Yeah, why don't they well, build there? No, we don't want to build there. Why don't they build there? No, Too narrow. Too, Too narrow of a yeah. lot. Too narrow of a lot. Is it any more narrow than the one they're already talking about? No. How could it be? Yeah. All right, around the room, uh, the update on the poll. Where where will the stadium be set, all said and done? Where do you think it will be? Oh, Arlington Heights. I've said uh, that. I'll, say, I'll, I'll say Arlington Heights. Arlington. Four for four, Arlington Heights. Yeah. Yeah. Arlington Heights. Yeah. 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 They'll ask for public money for that one, too. Stop. They ain't getting no money and for don't me. don't give it to them. Do not give it to them. Not by way of a hotel tax. Oh, but we, we live here. We don't pay for it. Stop. Stop with the public tax. 20 whatever billion, Yurko just said. 20 yep. whatever billion. 20 billion. You That's have no revenues. Means. You can go raise the money yourself. Absolutely. But they don't do that because they have to pay that money back. That's right. And this they won't have to pay How back. How much did they pay back on the, the structures that are up there, the White Sox end? They didn't pay anything off the principal. They well, don't they, have they, to. They service the debt, the debt only. So it's obnoxious. What else, Adam? Uh, we know the Bears will be playing in the Hall of Fame game for the uh, induction of Devin Hester, Steve Mongo McMichael, and I guess Julius Peppers. What do you mean you guess? I don't claim him as a bear. Uh, I don't like, think how many good he had a lot of good years here. R regardless. Uh we know who will now be introducing uh said players. Uh okay. it will be Julius Peppers, his longtime mentor and agent will be introducing him. Devin Hester's mom will be introducing him, and Jared Payton will oh. be introducing Steve Mongo McMichael. That's pretty great. I love that Jared's doing it. That's awesome. I'm yeah. glad JP's doing it. He's been close with Mongo for a long time. That's yeah. terrific. That's good. Four years only for uh, for Pep, Adam. You're right. Only four years. He was damn good here, though, man. I understand that. But, Pep like, to claim, really I get you going to claim and say three bears are going in. Okay. He was a Bears player. Yeah, he's like a quarter bear. 37 and a half sacks in four seasons with the Bears. He yeah. Was, he was awesome. All right. Oh, stop. And then he went to get more sacks for the Packers. He did go get more sacks for the Packers. You're, you're absolutely right about that. What else, Adam? Uh, in a new side uh, segment, I'll call Look at This Dummy uh, for it, it, within the lunch rush. Look at this dummy. Uh, you mentioned it with Jesse a little bit, but a former Sox prospect, Jose Rodriguez, was also charged with betting on baseball. He was uh, He's going to miss a year. He's going to be banned for a year. Uh, it showed that he placed bets between June 5th, 2022 and July 30th of 2022. He placed 31 bets on baseball, two club-related bets involving the outcomes of other club-related, and the outcomes of his other club-related bets were on whether there will be more or less than a certain number of runs, so he bet on totals. Uh, he bet $749.09 .09 on baseball with $724 of it on base on MLB related bets an average of $25 per bet his bets included parlays which sometimes included multiple MLB related legs and would sometimes include MLB related legs and non MLB related legs so look at this dummy betting Whoa. $750 on baseball in $25 increments why is he only getting a year suspension though if it's he bet on his club it just I... said he's going to be out for he's going to be ineligible for one year for violating wow, MLB sports seems... betting rules and policies Marcano got uh ding pretty good here for life obviously <laughs> to say the least because the investigation showed that he violated rule 21d2 of the league's betting rules and policies and that had to do with involving bets on the Pirates, a team that he was on last season. So I wonder why he's only getting a year. I thought it's if you bet, if they catch you betting on your own team, it's uh, it's a permanent ban. But he was a minor leaguer at the time, Adam? Is that yeah. what you said? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're catching these guys. I had to, like Jesse said, well, there's probably a bunch that aren't getting caught. That could be. They seem to be, I don't know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe there's hundreds of guys betting uh, and there's only know. a handful yeah. getting caught. I don't know. It seems like the, the checks and balances are working, but if there's a 150 guys betting illegally and we're not finding out and they're getting away with it who knows what else uh, i mentioned this to you upstairs you said you wanted a new show the show clipped clip on fx premiered it is based on the clippers and donald sterling and that it's based on the podcast that espn made um so about this 
So it's not like a documentary, it's a, no, it's a dramatization. Like Lawrence Fishburne is playing Doc Rivers. Oh, wow. Right. Ed O'Neill is playing Donald Sterling. Jackie cool. Weaver is playing Shelley Sterling. Um, there's JJ Red. I mean, JJ Reddick's not in it, but people are playing. Like, all of the. Like, every clipper is involved. Blake Griffin, someone's Blake playing Griff Blake Griffin, somebody's DeAndre playing Jordan, oh, someone's wow. playing JJ Reddick. Someone's playing the, Alvin Gentry. Uh, who was like the 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 girlfriend that V got... Stiviano. V Stiviano, yeah. Who's playing Cleopatra V Stiviano? Cleopatra Coleman is playing V Stiviano. Who does she look like? Cleopatra Coleman. Should I know who that is? I've never heard of her before. Cleopatra yeah, Coleman. Someone's playing Adam Silver, but this is it's a mini series. Oh, it's on Hulu. It's on she, FX. She looks like V Stiviano. She kind of does. Yeah, she absolutely does. Uh, I don't know. I'm uh, only interested because I want to see what Lawrence Fishburne does for Doc Rivers. Ed O'Neill. And Ed O'Neill, uh, yeah. As Donald Sterling. I don't know if I, I don't really see that, but okay, he's a great actor. He's old. Maybe I'll get around to that. I don't know. I'm not rushing to watch that, i got to be honest. I believe it's only three episodes. Oh, that's like not so bad Like, it's a mini then. series. Like, oh, it's very that's not short. so bad. Yeah. All right, maybe I will check it out. I don't know. If it's only, like, th it's like three-hour episodes? That's I believe so, bad. yeah. Maybe I will. Boy, that's so long ago. It's like... I don't well, know. Three I've kind of put... out now. There's uh, going to be six total. Yeah. Oh, there's going to be six total. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I, I feel like do I do I want to relive that at all? Do you have any desire to relive any of that? I uh, don't care. I don't either, really, that much, to be honest. He should have been out 25 years ago, <laughs> you know, with Donald Sterling's pass for crying out loud. It took way too long for them to throw his ass out. They did it too late. I guess they say better late than never. What else, Adam? That's it. All right. Good lunch, Rush.